Well, just a couple days before the holiday, Oregon State gets a pretty good early present, snapping a 10-game losing streak as they get a big win over a good Nichols Colonels team. 83-61, Ben Creighton, Dan Balamini here in Corvallis. Jared Lucas once again sensational from not only three-point land, but just everywhere. Yeah, everywhere, and, and he played a terrific all-around game, but when he had opportunities to score, you gave him room, he did not miss. And, and certainly uh, Lucas was a key guy, but how about Warth Alatiche? We know he can steal the ball. When he gets in the open court, he's a finisher, and he's a high flyer. So Alatiche under control, did a real nice job of uh, scoring around the basket. By the way, the whole Oregon State team scored around the basket. Yeah, they did a tremendous job down low and a beautiful alley-oop throw down there from Ori Thalatiche. Wayne Tinkle was telling us earlier today during shoot-around, he kind of wanted to see him elevate his game a little bit after the last couple games. And how about Deshaun Davis? I mean, great all-around player for Wayne Tinkle. Yeah, and, that, and that's been a real plus. You know, Davis went 12-5 and 6. And by the way, he had four steals. So Davis has superb all-around game. Lucas and Alatiche has to lead this team. You see what they did tonight? They've got to build on this. and and try to do it in future games. As you look at the upcoming schedule for the Beavers, again, one final non-conference test against Sacramento State before they go right back into Pac-12 play, welcoming Utah, Colorado, and Oregon here to Gill Coliseum. You were telling me this is a game that they can really build Absol upon. Absolutely. I thought this was a big, big game. Gives them a little bit of momentum. Uh, Sac State, and then they've got to go back in the conference and try to do some damage at home. Big win for Oregon State to snap that 10-game skid. 83-61, the final here at Gill Coliseum.